Some more looks at that storm as it rolled through. Thank you to Roger for sending this as it rolled into Newton. Some strong winds uh, in that area. We know there isn't a lot of damage. We're not hearing major reports. A lot of tree limbs down. We have had some power poles and lines go down. Uh, some people without power as well. We do have reporter Brandon Stitt who's been out in the mobile weather lab. Brandon, what are you seeing? Yeah, Mike, I'm here in Newton and there isn't a lot of significant damage, but a lot of power lines have been knocked down and that's leaving about 1700 people here in Newton without power. Where I am in the neighborhood just north of the high school, you can see that Evergy actually just rolled up right next to the weather lab and they're taking a look at those power lines that are down that have literally knocked out the electricity for this entire neighborhood. Friday night football tonight seeing delays all over the metro as those storms rolled in. Every game was affected in some way shape or form whether it was a delay or a postponement completely. Also those wind gusts in the metro area up to almost 90 miles an hour near Jabera airport just crazy wind gusts and aside from the power being out here in newton like i said there isn't just a lot there isn't a lot of significant tree damage just power outages which is wreaking havoc on those people in this neighborhood but once again no no significant damage mike we'll send it back to you brandon thank you peyton will be back